Welcome friends, foes, and everyone in between. Tonight we have a match between the Tigers who sit perched atop the canopy going up against Tehan Demille in the second to final match of the regular season. Tehan looking to hold on to one of the top nine spots for the postseason playoffs and Tigers wanting to cement their spot at number one as there are multiple teams in the hunt for the league title. I'm joined here tonight with Mike. Mike, how's your night going and what are you looking forward to with this match? Man, my night is going great, Chris. We are still undefeated on one of only two teams, and we sit atop the, um, the table here. Four wins, two ties. We're crushing it this season, and a lot of that has to do with the, uh, the strategy you and Albert have implemented this season. Yeah, absolutely. As we look at the lineup here, Joel and goal, Pat with a back-to-back man-of-the-match performance. Well done for him. Jose bringing up the right side of the defense. Esteban looking to control the middle. Robert and myself bringing up the flanks, looking to push forward. And Mike up top, possibly trying to score goals, possibly trying to create goals. With Henning, Robert, and Jason on the substitutes and Albert managing the whole thing. Yeah, there was some um, talk uh, in the locker room this week about Albert possibly suiting up. Uh, I guess that changed that game time decision, but they did make a change and put Chris out on the edge with Esteban sitting in the middle there being that pivot man. It'll be interesting to see how the Tigers play today. As the Tigers start us off here. Moving the ball around in the back. Play across, you got better than you can need to. Yeah, good job. Doing well to stay calm and composed to start the game. Not looking to rush things. And Jose gives away a ball here as Tejan can move forward. Jose is going to stuff that out. It's going to go out for a Tejan throw. Ball comes back to the middle here. This is being moved around. It's going to be cleared out down the line by the Tigers, Defender. only to be picked up by okay, Tehan again it. to move an attack forward. As this ball comes in early, and Joel has to deal with it. This is a good ball from Tehan. Good signs for them. Poor signs from Tigers as Joel unleashes Chris here on the outside. He's looking to control the ball, move it in. And Robert with the first opportunity on Tehan's goal. A great chance. Needed to really keep his chest over the ball to keep that ball down. But better movement there. A pretty open play here. Two chances, one right after another for each team. Jose looking to put a ball in. It's going to get snuffed out by Tehan. Robert does well to get back and win the ball here. With a good ball through to Mike, who's going to be on the turn. He just couldn't get that last touch off. It's Tejan attacking here. And a man is wide open on the back post as the cross comes in with a header, and it's gone off the post. And Joel has to make a fantastic save here to keep Tigers in the match. We are only two and a half minutes into this game, and already some danger from the guys in orange. Yeah, Joel's really good there. He always is very good at getting down quickly. Uh, almost quicker than you'd expect for a man like that. He's, oh, and here's Esteban moving forward, and he's going to be a goal. Just so quickly how the tides have turned right there from off the post from Tejan to back of the net from the Tigers. And this is a wonderful bit of play here as the ball comes out. Esteban with good vision to see Robert. And Robert doing the right thing, holding the ball up and waiting for the opportunity. This pinpoint pass into Esteban, who gets a shot off. And to be fair, the keeper makes a great save, but with the ball falling right back to his feet, there's no shot, and Esteban buries it. Yeah, that's great vision by Robert there. And way to follow up on your board there with Esteban and put away that second chance. Lovely bit of play from the Tigers as they go up 1-0 over Tehan. Jose here on the outside, dropping it back to Chris, who is overlapping. Poor ball. Going to try to chip it forward through to Mike. It's going to get blocked out again. Bit of a tennis rally right now. 
Tejon with the ball in the middle. It's a good ball into the box and a nifty little under the leg flick from the Tejon striker. It's not going to go on target, but it's good movement from the guys in orange. Yeah, early on here, we're seeing that Tejan is making it into the Tigers' half pretty pretty handily, unlike other teams this season. It'll be interesting to see if they can complete those chances. Jose does well to just get that out of danger. As the ball comes back in here. And Joel has to make another save. Reflexes F1-esque, you could say. <laughs> Tigers are going to have to tighten up here pretty quickly. That's a lot of chances on their goal, more than we've seen out of, oppo uh, out of the Tigers' opponents this season. Yeah, it's a really interesting start to the game where the Tigers are up 1-0, but they do not feel like necessarily the dominant team. Creating chances going both ways, it just seems like both teams on defense are a little disjointed and uh, unable to deal with the attack of the op opponent. Tejan's going to have a throw here. As the ball comes in. Laid back. Tejan with the ball in the corner, looking to put a cross in. Jose's there. It's a dangerous ball. Luckily, Esteban there on the trot. Chris here looking to make a run and play Mike in, but the ball was poor as their keeper's able to put that right back in the middle. But it falls to Robert, who rips a shot into the left side of the net. What a stunning strike from the young man. And the Tigers go up two to nothing over Tehan. Yeah, I think I saw a deflection a little bit there that sent that a little bit further into the corner away from the keeper. Either way, that he wasn't getting there. Robert put a great shot on target there. And Robert making a case for himself as man of the match with a goal and an assist this game inside of seven minutes. All right, nice, nice, nice. And already Robert's back on defense there. Focus! Tehan again, once again, or Tehan once again pushing into the Tigers half. And the guys in green just struggling to get an outlet here. Good job, Pat. Great job, Pat. Of note, the reason, the true reason Albert didn't dress out is a, a Good job. lingering injury, and he just decided to rest this game. Uh, also of note, myself, Chris, working with a pulled quad. So if you notice any issues with the speed or the passing with the right leg, that could be the culprit. As the Tigers come here, Esteban picking the ball up. Take it! Nice little shot there, just wide of the goal. Esteban causing problems for Tejan here. That chance again came from another robber uh, interception. And he took it into their half. Didn't quite get his pass off there, but another, another good effort there from Robert. This ball comes in centrally to Esteban. Out to Chris, who's looking to put that across to Mike, and the keeper does well. To get a foot to that, to keep Mike from burying it in the back of the net. Tigers throw here in the corner as Mike and Robert will look to get this in the middle. And it's out for a Tigers corner. And if you rewind that, you can definitely tell, despite the protestation of Tejan, that was definitely a Tigers corner. Ball comes in. And it's good defense from Tejan to put it out for another Tigers corner from the opposite side. As Esteban was there floating at the back post. You know, I'd argue that on these smaller fields, putting in accurate corners are can be more challenging in, in some cases. Uh, and I think Robert's really good at it. It's always right over that penalty spot. Absolutely. 
Esteban puts this ball in, and I am wide open all by myself, unmarked in the middle of the box. And as I go down, I realize my head's a little too low to get that ball down. And I just pop it up and over the crossbar. Truly a poor attempt from a man who has two headed goals on the season. Tejan here looking to move the ball down the line. What may have been a poor, poor clearance, a poor pass from Tayon has led to a Tigers throw. Pat looking to get this over to Mike, who just couldn't bring that one down. And it's gone out for a Tejan goal kick. Mike obviously showing some frustration with himself. I definitely could have had a better attempt on that. Good throw from Pat. Tejan switching across the fields here from the goal kick. Tigers looking a lot more solid here at the back. As we haven't seen a Tejan shot in a few minutes. Might have spoke too soon here though, as one comes in. It's not gonna be in the back of the net. I think Joel would have had it covered. But I gotta stop jinxing things like that. I think that's the sixth attempt on goal already um, from Tejon Demiel. Um, yeah, definitely out of character for Tigers. Jason in a dangerous spot here. He's gonna lay it across to Esteban. Good defense from Tejon, but Jason's going to get it back and get a shot off, and the keeper makes a great save there to deny Jason a goal as Tejon looked to counter. And defensively, our striker getting back, Jason already back, busting along to get it done. This ball comes in. It's never going to trouble Joel. Jason, come on. Space. And it's gone out for a Tigers goal Space. kick. Yeah, Theon's um, keeper is uh, actually shown some really good positioning in this game so far, even though they're 2-0 two down, two down. Chris is going to pick the ball up here on the far side, cut it back, and see Jason across. Jason, unfortunately, can't get on the end of that one. Tejan with a throw here. It's down the line, and Pat does well to step in here and keep the ball in bounds. Unfortunate to go right back to Tejan. That's good defense there from Pat. Esteban doing well to force the ball wide. Tigers defensively, the structure looks fantastic right now. They are struggling to pick their way through as Esteban's gonna cut this one out. And Tigers now on the counter. Tejan just took, just as soon as he got that, turned and ran back. Jason with a shot on goal, and it's another good save from Tejan's keeper. Realistically, could be a few goals ahead of what we are now. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. A little bit of excitement on the pitch. Tejan dancing around on the top of the box. He's going to drop it back centrally. Looking to put the ball across. Hey, what 22 pet? Someone's pick up. And they're going to drop it all the way back to their keeper from the top of the box. Freeze. Freeze. That's Moving it, forward, Tayon down the right side. Good job, Chris, myself, doing well to cut that one out as it was a one on one with the keeper, if not. Mike looking to turn, but gets cut out. Hey, 
That's it, Jason. Come on. As Jason's going to defend here on the far side. And that shot's going to come in. Never truly troubling the Tigers keeper. And it's going to go out for a goal kick. And you got to say, both teams defensively have not been poor um, since the first few minutes of the game. However, it seems like the Tigers' physicality and ability to play the ball through has uh, given them a few more opportunities than Tejan. Tigers look out with one there. Um, I think Juan was already blowing the, the ref was already blowing the, um, blowing the whistle. He probably could have let that play out and Tejon would have had the, had the ball back without this chance from Tigers. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Get up there, Jason. Get up there. Don't worry about it. Get up there. Come on. Come on. Pat's going to stand over this free kick. As the ball comes in. Tejon doing well to get that one out. Chris here, looking to shield this ball out of bounds for the Tigers' throw. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Jose getting the ball in play quick with Mike through to Esteban. Esteban on goal. Uh, maybe just one touch too many there to try to go around the keeper. A great bit of link-up play there. Yeah, it looks like, looks like Esteban took uh, an extra touch because that keeper was out quick. Almost got his hand to the ball. Pat, or, um, Esteban had to take another touch to try and round him. They had moving forward. Chris does well to snuff out that pass centrally. Myself playing more of a defensive role here as at this point I'm starting to feel the pain in my quad. Just trying to make sure I don't give up any quick counters as Jose is going to give a free kick here to Tejan. Fortunate to see an injury. Joel demanding a two person wall. As an opportunity for Tejan late in the first half has presented itself from just outside the penalty box. This ball comes in, but quickly snuffed out. And we're on the move forward. Tejan switching the field here. As a midfielder is going to skip past Pat. Ball's going to come in the middle. But Pat and Jose do well to keep that as it falls to a Tejan player at the top of the box who's going to sky that shot. High and wide. And that's another chance from Tejon. Uh, you know, they, they're getting into the Tigers' final third. Uh, they're just not getting those chances on target. Yeah, maybe a, a lack of a clinical touch there to really take advantage of the opportunity. And just to point this out, no, I did not put on, Mike did not put on 20 pounds of muscle. There was actually a sub. Uh, Mike came off in... in uh, uh, for Henning. Yeah, as Jason came on for Robert early in the first half as well. This ball is going to be played over the top by Tehan. Joel does well to smother that one and look to unleash Henning, but it's going to get cut out again as they're on the move forward. Jose and Chris doing well to get that out, but it just keeps falling to the feet of a Tejon player. As they're looking to maintain possession here and play it down the line. A 
Oh, Pat almost getting beat, but doing well to use his body to keep that ball. Jason with some good vision here as it goes through Esteban and into Chris, who's going to lay this out wide for Henning. And the ball is going to come back in the middle, but Tejan there again to sniff out the danger and get rid of it before one of the Tigers could get on the end of it. Yeah, Jason looks gassed here, but a um, little bit of a uh, little bit of experience would have um, told him like Henning's going to have to put that across goal low or quickly. I need to get in front of goal as quickly as possible. So um, I, I'm sure he's learned from that. Next time he'll probably I'm sure he'll be on the end of that pass. Jose put a good ball in, but Tejan's equal to it and going to get the ball out and hold on to it well. This man in the middle does. He's got quick feet, good possession. As Tejan now looking to overload the Tigers. Luckily, Jason able to get back. Lovely little bit of play here from Tejan. Little scoop of the ball and looking to get that ball in the middle, but Pat says no. He's just going to get rid of the danger down the line. Have you ever seen a catapult installed on the wall? I believe you named that the patapult. <laughs> yes, I did. Tigers here on a quick counter. Henning's going to take a shot, and it's going to sting the gloves of the keeper and trot out for a uh, Tigers throw, but we're not going to be able to take that as Juan's going to whistle for halftime where the Tigers lead 2-0. Off goals from Esteban from that beautiful pass in from Robert in the third minute. And Robert winning the ball off, going solo and rocketing a shot into the left corner of the net. Just giving the Tigers something to cheer about. Yeah, big time. Um, the, the shape of Tejon de Mille, um, which means Honey Badger, by the way, um, has changed over the course of the first half. Um, noticed a couple times early in the first half, they almost played a, a divided team. Three players up top for, uh, as in attackers, and then three back. Um, and, it, and eventually it led to just one back as a sweeper uh, with a little bit of additional help. Um, not, sure if, I, not sure if that's really going to help their clinic, clinical chances, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and of note from that first half, got to shout out both Joel and Robert for putting in some performances there. It's going to be a tight race for the man of the match. As Tejan gets this underway, this ball is going to slide around on one side until it comes in and Jose can clear the danger. Tejan snuffing it out, moving forward again, but that's just going to bundle through to Joel. He's going to release Robert here. As Tigers switch the field. Looking to move the ball to find space. It's a decent ball in from Jose over top to Mike. Just a little bit over hit. And their keeper is going to jump on that one. Tejan being forced to play vertically up and down the sideline. As this ball comes in centrally. And uh, their guy trips over the ball and then rolls over to shield it. Uh, and <laughs> Tigers get called for the foul somehow there. But Tejan's going to come away with that one as Mike does work to win that ball off and gets around his defender. Good job, Mike! Tejan's keeper was uh, out quick there, and their uh, other defender was able to come over and, and see that ball out. Tejan's going to play this goal kick quick.
Tigers sitting a little bit deeper here, allowing them to bring the pressure, being two goals up. Yeah, this is more of what more of uh, what we've seen all season from from Tigers, uh, pressing the pressing the ball down the sidelines instead of allowing it in the middle. I think that has a lot to do with that um, midfield player, Esteban, uh, dropping back a little bit here in the second half with a with a two goal lead here instead of uh, pressing forward like he did in the first half. Tehan moving the ball well through the Tigers half. It's going to recycle all the way back to their defense. Just unable to find those gaps in behind the Tigers. As this is going to switch fields and go wide, but out for a Tigers throw. Catapult launching one up to Mike here. Looking to make a run down the line. Does well to hold this ball up. As he drops it back to Chris, who's going to look to put a ball across and expecting someone to be making that run and nobody, nobody there. Yeah, Tigers need to know uh, that their number four there is their, their main man. He's going to get a ball, a good ball in. Uh, from almost any position on the field. So it's best to be in front of the goal um, to be on the end. Esteban here with a chance, and their keeper making a great save as Tejan can clear the danger here. It's a good position from uh, Esteban there to get the shot off, and a wonderful save from Tejan's keeper who has kept them in this game. Yep, Mike is down in the count, 0-1. Uh, uh, one strike there, completely whiffed on that ball. Got to do better to just place that rather than try and kill it. Tejan bringing the ball forward here down the line. As the ball comes in, a wasted cross as the angle is cut off. And it's just gone out for a Tigers goal kick. Mike doing well to hold that ball up. And Esteban getting on the end of it, seeing Mike, who's going to make his defender, and just put the ball over the top. A golden opportunity to possibly throw your hat in the ring for the Puskas Award. But it's not going to happen. Heaven's opened up there. Got to be better. Pass the ball in the goal. He's sitting there for the taking. Tehan on the move. Mike just hassling their defense. It's going to win us a throw here. Great hustle from the big man up top. Also want to point out here, um, defenders as well as Esteban have not taken a sub all game. Um, Tigers are short on subs in this game, uh, especially with some injured players uh, on the field. So um, kudos to those guys for not coming out of the game. Chris with a nice little flick over the top, drawing the foul. And looking to take a quick free kick to Mike. And this guy's going to just step right in front of it. And uh, if you know the rules of the game, this is a straight yellow card. And the man in yellow here, a little bit reluctant to give that one, even though he gave the guy a talking to, as Pat's going to stand over this free kick and put a good ball in. And their keeper makes another great save to deny the Tigers of a third goal. And it's going to go out for a Tigers corner. Pat trying to thread that needle there with the ball from way out. Really good attempt there from him. Yeah, I can appreciate a good shot. As this ball comes in to Esteban, who just couldn't keep his feet underneath him as he took that shot. And their keeper does well to get out and make the save. 
as it falls out, Pat saw the golden sparkles in his eyes and tried to take a blistering shot with the left foot and just skied it. Tejon moving the ball down the line. Missed touch here. And it's just going to be another Tigers possession. Tigers might be a little bit lucky there with them not getting the touch on that. They had four people in, in the Tigers half, or Tejon had four people in the Tigers half. Um, could have seen uh, could have seen a ball back across goal uh, for a very dangerous chance. Tayon here doing well to get the ball down into the Tigers' half. As that ball comes over and it's a dangerous chance chance from Tehan to try to put a ball on target and it's going to go wide. Wide. <laughs> Left wanting, it's going to go wide. I think my mouth melted there. This ball is going to come through to Robert. It's going to take a nice move to cut inside and get a shot with the left foot, but it's going to go wide. That one really needs to be settled down and put on target, but for an opportunity with your left foot. I uh, give him props for going for it. Great little cut in from Robert. Nice little, that's almost Messi-esque, just without the finish. Good. Yeah, you know, he has a goal on the day and he's created a lot of dangerous opportunities. Nice and cut out some dangerous opportunities as well. Absolutely. He's got a lot of hustle in him. down that right side flank. Just being stalled out with nowhere to go. Except backwards. This is the this is the Tigers that we're used to. This low, low base defensive shape. Coincidentally, 2 nil up as well. So this ball comes back across. And I just did want nothing to do with that. So put it out for a Tayon corner. Ball comes in, well actually out, because it's going to hit the back of the net from the corner. And just a wasted opportunity from Tehan. Joel taking this quick to Jose. He's looking to chip the ball forward into empty space, but Tehan's going to get on the end of it. I like the thought there, I think he wanted to get it more out towards the corner flag, unfortunately. Didn't quite come off. Sergio on Tejon Demil was able to cut that out. Yeah, you usually can right. bet on Jose to right. make those passes. He'll put the ball in good spaces for that quick forward movement. Tejon having to resort to some trickery there to get the ball in across as the guy flicked it up to himself and went backwards to get it to the middle. And good defense here from the Tigers to direct that shot skyward off of their attacker. It's going to ultimately come up to a Tigers goal kick. Henning's going to get on the end of it after a touch from Tehan. He's going to drop it back to Chris to see Esteban here. Looking to put the ball in the middle. It's going to get cut out by Tehan. Oh, okay, okay. They do well, in all honesty, to play that ball off of Esteban and win the throw. He can't hold the ball. At what point does Tehan need to start panicking and start throwing people forward? Uh, about 13 minutes ago. Brutally honest. No. I was being a little facetious there. Um, definitely need to start thinking about it, though. Um, we're already into the final quarter of the game, and they, they, they're 2 0 down. It's time for the guys in orange to make a move if they want to get a result out of this game, and that's not going to do it as Mike gets on the end of it, but it's given right back to Tayon here. Off a touch from Esteban. So they're moving in centrally, but Tigers yeah. doing well to shut that down and force some orange backwards. Pressure, pressure! 
as it comes down the line. Good pressure, go! Good job, guys. Good pressure. Playing nice. ball across the field over top. And it's not going to be controlled. And that's just going to be a Tigers throw. Pat going big, looking over the top. Tayon doing well to cut that one out. As it comes forward now, maybe in a desperation attempt to get the ball up towards the Tigers penalty spot. This guy has quick feet. He's gonna to look to make a move in the middle. Tigers doing well to shut that down. You can see the cluster of five Tigers in the middle of the field to prevent any shots coming in as we see that one dribble wide. Joel putting a ball up the middle. But Tejan's going to cut that out. And good defense there from Jose to prevent the man from getting to a shooting position. See a couple subs here. There's myself coming out. Uh, definitely not reluctant about that as my leg was not feeling great. And Robert's going to step in as well as Mike taking a sub and having Henning jump up top. I don't think that can be too understated, uh, the benefit that the Tigers see from having a manager on the sideline where it's not very common in this league. Um, just making sure the subs are there, making sure um, the players on the field hear them and you know, breathe and, and, and remain calm and just having somebody on the sideline uh, reminding you of your job. Yeah, I don't think Albert realized just how much he, uh, how important he is to the team and how much he means to us. He always brings the energy and holds the team together. And without him, it would, you know, the, the weekends wouldn't be as fun. It's a great little move here from Tejan. And that ball's coming through, but Joel's eagle eye was on it. And he's quick off the line to snap that one up. playing the ball in centrally as it goes down the line again, but Tejan's going to jump on that. Play it all the way back to their keeper. Orange attacking down this favored right side. Being forced to play the ball back. And it feels that Orange, while playing safe and maintaining possession, really needs to start taking some risks if they want to put the ball in the back of the net because they have very limited time to do so. That ball is going to be played back and Esteban's going to get on the end of it. Big Looking for a cheeky little nutmeg, and he's going to get it. Play the ball centrally to Robert, who's going to open up. It took a good shot there. A nice strike on the ball. It's just going to go wide of the goal. And again, finding himself in dangerous spots to create chances. Ball comes forward. Tejan really need to be aggressive here. Force the issue from the Tigers. The Tigers being a stone wall, preventing anything from getting through. Gotta follow that guy, Jason. Yeah, you don't go now, just stay. Just show. Yeah, don't go, don't go, don't go. Back the middle. I can go down the line. Well done. In the middle of the field. We're going to switch it across. As Robert gets on the end of that, puts a good ball in to Henning. Turn, turn, turn. Henning, seeing the opportunity, is going to drop it back to Esteban. He's going to find Robert in the penalty box. And another fantastic save from their goalkeeper to keep the scoreline at 2 0. 
And again, Robert making that chance out of thin air with a uh, with a timely interception. How many minutes left? You're done, right? How many yeah, with a free kick here. Might be too little too late as we crest into the 22nd minute of a 22-minute half. Ball is going to be played forward. And a shot. Oh, no, it's in the corner. Good job, guys. Hey, guys. Hang on, gonna have a corner and need to play this quick. As you can see, there's a little bit of urgency there. Hey, back post. This ball comes in. Good job, guys. It's gonna go right back out for a hang on throw. Playing for pride at this point. It's going to come in. It's going to get cleared out. Esteban trying a cheeky meg, but Tejan wise to it this time. We're going to get the ball back. And this ball comes in across the top of the box. Tejan finding themselves in a dangerous position. The shot comes in. Pat looks to block it, and it's just gone off of his knee and onto his hand, and the ref is going to blow for a handball A PK in the dying embers to try to spoil the Tigers' clean sheet here. And the ref is mentioning this is the last kick of the game. If it doesn't go in, the game's over. If it does go in, the game's over. Pretty much whatever happens here off this kick is what happens. I'm sure Pat is sweating bullets for his entire defense and keeper team uh, as this is another clean sheet at risk. And it's gone off the crossbar and bounced out. What sportsmanship there from Joel and their striker hugging that one out as all the action seems to have happened within the first six minutes of the game with Esteban and Robert getting the solo goals. 2-0. The final scoreline, the Tigers take another W and another clean sheet. Joel and Robert coming up big in this match. Yeah, upon reviewing the footage, I don't see how Robert's not the man of the match here. Um, Woodland Tigers OB stay at the top of the table. Yes, they do. And you can see a little shakeup in the stats list with Esteban, two goals, two assists. Robert jumping himself up with two goals and an assist. And uh, Joel, 91% save rate on the season. That is fantastic. Woodlands Tigers will have one more game this season, and it's going to get beat against Stillwater Strikers. At the bottom of the table, but don't let that fool you, they're no slouch as they scored in almost every single one of their games. Well, guys, for Mike and I, have a good night, and don't forget to come back in two weeks to catch our final regular season match against the Strikers.